Celtics update. Friday, November 15th, 2013, the Boston Celtics get overplayed by the Portland Trail Blazers. After a tough loss to the Shock Bobcats Wednesday night at the TD Garden, the Boston Celtics welcome the Portland Trail Blazers to the TD Garden Friday night and it was a good first quarter for the Celtics, but the turnovers bit them early, but the Celtics held the confidence as they trailed only by two points but to the Portland Trail Blazers, 23-21. And the Celtics kept themselves in the game despite trailing in the turnovers, and they were down only six and a half time break to the Portland Trail Blazers at 57-51. And then that's when the Portland Trailblazers Covenants took over. And the Celtics weren't able to get their intensity back as the Portland Trailblazers built at 86 to 78 leading in the third quarter. And then in the fourth quarter, the Celtics tried to make a run out of it, but the turnover bug bit the Celtics again. As the Boston Celtics fall to the Portland Trail Blazers, 109 to 94, as the Celtics fall to four and six on the season with a 109-106 loss to the Portland Trail Blazers. And Jared Sonder was the lone bright spot for the Celtics with a career high: 26 points, eight rebounds, and two assists to lead the Celtics. Aldridge led the Portland Trail Blazers with 27 points. Next up for the Boston Celtics, they will have a tough road schedule. As they are in Minnesota to take on Ricky Rubio and Kevin Love in Minnesota Timberwolves tomorrow in Minneapolis. And then, Tuesday and Wednesday, they'll be on an Interstate 10 road trip through Texas with the Houston Rockets and the San Antonio Spurs Houston on Tuesday, San Antonio Wednesday. Should be a tough road game that the Celtics are able to get it to Kevin and they could maybe buy a win or two. Okay, let us take a look at our other scores around the NBA. The Indiana Pacers sped past the Milwaukee Bucks. 104 to 77 as Roy Hibbert had 24 points to the Pacers, while OJ Mayo had 20 points for the Bucks. In Toronto, Chicago Bulls defeated the Toronto Raptors 96 to 80. Luol Deng had 19 points. DeRozan 37 points in the losing cause for the Toronto Raptors. In 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter, Atlanta on its way to a 113-103 victory over the Philadelphia 76ers here. 33 points fatigue. In Cleveland, there was a shot Bobcats defeating the Cleveland Cavaliers 86-80. With 124 left in the fourth quarter, it's the Miami Heat leading the Dallas Mavericks 102-99. LeBron James has 33 points for the Heat, while Dirk Nowitzki had 20 points for the Dallas Mavericks. In Denver with 44 seconds left in the third quarter, Denver Nuggets are leading the Minnesota Timberwolves 86-78. In Phoenix, it's the Phoenix Suns leading the Brooklyn Nets 38-29. With 7-6 left in the second quarter out in Phoenix. Utah leading San Antonio 43-37 with 3.30 in the second quarter. And the Lakers of Los Angeles and Memphis Grizzlies will get underway at 10.30 p.m. And the same goes for Detroit Sacramento. Celtics need to, to control the turnover situation and play good basketball. It's still early season, but the Celtics will find a way to break out of it and win some games. Here, Here we go, Celtics! The road ahead brought to you by Geico. 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on time.